hey y'all um yeah let's talk about it let's talk about it the chicago bulls traded alex caruso for josh giddy one for one the year is 2024 i didn't even know one for one deals even happened anymore but here we are first trade of the offseason for anybody is the bulls doing something it's kind of insane um, the Bulls have been determined to find a playmaker to replace Lonzo Ball. I'll remind you that Lonzo Ball tech list still on the roster, but this is the, this not a uh, vote well. I saw him dunk the other day, and Giddy, uh, 21, comes with all-star potential. How many of us believe that? He comes to Chicago and, and actualize that potential? <sighs> Before I go hard on the Chicago Bulls, let me tell you, OKC fans, if you have not been keeping up with Alex Caruso over the last couple of years, you're going to absolutely love him. A lot of people that you ask cross basketball, the top defensive players in, in the league, Alex Caruso name comes up almost every single time. He is that much of a force as a guard. He is all over the place. He's guarding, not, not like consistently, but he feels comfortable guarding so many different positions, uh, passing lanes, pickpockets, slide the feet, hustle, dive on the floor. I'm not a jersey guy. If you've been following my channel for some years, you've never really seen me pull up to, with a jersey unless I was memeing. I have an Alex Caruso jersey because over the last couple of years, he's some one of the few people on the team that felt like he cared every single game. And I love players like that. And they trade him away for goddamn Josh Giddy. I'm not mad at the fact that the Bulls haven't made trades over the last couple of seasons. I mean, I guess I am. But that, that my major gripe with the Chicago Bulls front office is that they are so very poor and maximizing an asset. Not rumor. This is confirmed. That the deadline this year, there are multiple teams doing multiple first round picks to try to get Alex Caruso on the team. One of the first round picks ended up being top 10 in this year's draft. But the front office is like, no, Alex Caruso, we want you to stay on the team so we can finish 16 and 18 and go to the play-in. We turned down multiple firsts for Caruso? We, we turned down a lottery first for Drummond, who's just going to walk in free agency anyway? What are we doing? What are, what are we doing? We'd rather keep these dudes to be ass as a team than trade them when their value is all-time high. And the fact that this is a one-for-one -one deal blows my goddamn mind. The year is 2024. Go, how many trades do we see? Where it's not a first, multiple seconds, hell, even a fake first. That turns into multiple seconds just to get the fan base to think that you got something for the future. OKC has a million first. We can get their least valuable one. I mean, Sam Presti has been notorious for trading players before they hit restricted free agency if he doesn't believe they're a part of the, their long-term future. And that's exactly what he did because at the end of this year, Josh Giddy hits restricted free agency. So you're going to tell me, depending on what happens this year with Josh Giddy, we're going to be the team to pay him? It feels like every single time this has happened in Bulls in, in, in recent Bulls history, we got the short end of the stick. We pay Zach Levine because we don't want him to walk, and now he's widely considered one of the worst contracts in basketball, even though, Zachary, I'm still rooting for you, and I still believe you can hoop. Um, Patrick Williams is restricted free agency. The Charlotte Hornets are probably going to offer that man $20 plus million a year, and we have to make a decision what to do. It's just... They're, they're just so poor at managing their assets that I, I think my boy Rusty said this, I honestly do feel like, and I, I am the internet general manager. Part of my job is making fake trades on the goddamn PlayStation. But I firmly do believe that I would be able to manage this team better than what the, these guys have done over the last couple of years. I honestly do believe that. Because Caruso would have been traded at the deadline. I didn't want to trade him, but it, was, it makes sense for the franchise. Drummond would have been traded. Are you serious? This is just... So what is our guard rotation now? It's Kobe White. It's Ayo Desumu. It's Josh Giddy. It's Javon Carter. We got Lonzo Ball on the team. We just... There's a million guards. And so I don't know if that means that they're... Potentially doing some other deals down the line. I don't know, but God, this is so frustrating. And that's we only talking about the hoops, man. Josh Giddy got played off the court over the last playoff series. Well, one of the games, he played like 12 total minutes, man. He could not hold his own. And again, he's 21 years old. Could he maximize that potential, that all-star potential? Sh maybe. Maybe. How many people come to Chicago and maximize their all-star potential? Let's be real. This team has not done the best at getting people to play at their fullest potential. Ever. Well, I can't say ever. Because we do have the greatest player of all time on our team. But, but you get what I'm saying. Chicago's not a place where people usually go to and start to play better. <laughs> I'm just at a loss. I, obviously, uh, there's been a report that the Bulls have 15 different trade offers right now for Zach Levine. I don't know what that's going to look like. But I'm expecting to not like that trade. 
And now we can talk about the other stuff. I have not been completely uh, hip to all of the Josh Giddy stuff. Obviously, I've, I've, I've seen some of it. When it was first coming out earlier in the season, I read one article about it. And since then, I haven't heard anything. So I don't know if that's all alleged or any of that has been proven. I don't really know. But based on the article that I read a couple months back, I am not a fan of the shit that he was doing. And you try to tell me because he's on my team now that I have to I have to root for I have to root for that. I, again, I don't know what's true and what's not. I I, I don't know right now. I, I mean, now that he's on my team. I should probably dive into it, huh? I should really go and see every single article I can find on this Josh Giddy stuff. Um, I just I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm 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 just disappointed, I guess. Um, and I'm not even like, I can understand some people like, Kenny, you can't have it both ways. You can't tell them at the deadline to make some deals and they finally do some deals. You're mad at it. And I would say to that, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Alice Caruso is one of those dudes that I bet you there are other teams across basketball. Um, um, the, the 76ers, the Bucks, the Warriors. I could go on and on. These are teams that are probably pissed that they didn't get in on the Alex Caruso, Alex Caruso stuff. He's one of the people that if he was available, many teams should have been called. And the Bulls are going to do this thing. And here's my, here's my prediction. Here's my prediction. I don't know what's right or what's wrong. You think about trading a 30-year-old guard and Alex Caruso for a 21-year-old guard and Josh Giddy. That in, in your mind, you think, that okay, that means they're about to take a step to the rebuild. My prediction is they're about to try to teeter they're going to have some young players. DeMar DeRose is coming back. We're going to trade for Harrison Barnes. He's going to be on the team. We're going to try to balance these things out. When in reality, that's not the way you do it. And we're going to end up being a, a slightly below 500 team again. A slight, one game above 500 team again. And then they're going to come to the press at the end of the season. Be like, well, this is not what we wanted to do. The Bulls, <laughs> we're bottom five and three-point frequency this season. Bottom five. The year is 2024. The team that just won a championship shot the most three-pointers in NBA history. That is the way you win basketball games nowadays. And what do we do? We trade for one of the worst shooting guards in basketball. Huh? What? Kobe White just had a career year where he was a runner-up to most improved player, and that was with him being the point guard. We move him over to the off-guard again? We, we didn't like what we saw? Because Josh Giddy, again, if you're going to maximize Josh Giddy, that man needs to have the ball in his hands because he is not a threat otherwise. So Josh Giddy's going to do his thing, and Kobe White's just going to be off guard again. All right. Okay. I mean, yeah, go score, Kobe. I just don't know, man. I just, uh, <laughs> I'm sure there's so many different things I could say. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm going to mix Alex Caruso. And the, the cool thing about this, and this is something I've said before, that I'm gonna get I continue to root for players that get traded away from my team if I like them. So like I will be rooting for Alex Caruso, especially since he's in a, the opposing conference. So OKC fans, you just get you got me somewhat because I want to see Caruso be great. Caruso's one of those dudes, man. I'm telling you, he's one of those dudes that you don't want to give up unless you're getting something that you feel really, really good about. Out uh, Josh Giddy, all-star potential. If, if we had the, what do you think the odds are on, on Josh Giddy becoming an all-star one day? What do we think the odds are? Hey, I'm going to have to go through all of the different stages um, of, of grief. I'm going to go through all the different stages of grief. I, let me look at one thing before I get out of here. Um, Josh Giddy's game log. Let's, let's go see. Because if I'm not mistaken, you remember they had that little stretch where he was playing pretty solid basketball. When was that? This one. Boom. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, let me see. Let me see. Yeah, here, here's the game. He had 25, 9, and 4. Ooh, am I convincing myself? No, I'm not. Um, but I think I remember one of these games, Shea didn't play. It's this game. His 31-point game. So the, the, the Bulls are like, hey, he scored 31 when he was the primary ball handler, when his usage rate was really high. So if we give him the ball and say, Josh Giddy, go cook, then maybe he can't average what he averaged last season. Last year, he averaged 12. Maybe one day he can average 18, 19 again, or not again, his career highs. All right, man, I, 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 I'm out of here. I'm out.